Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Get ready today for some college basketball betting coverage. And joining me here is Jeff Grant, our very own SBR contributor. And today we're looking at that game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Duke Blue Devils. What's going on, Jeff? How are you doing today? Doing fantastic, Dax. This is really a meeting of a team that's struggling on the offensive end to make shots. But they may face a team that's a bit weary after a long stretch on the road in the Duke Blue Devils. All right, man. So far, we've seen how Georgia Tech has played a lot of close games in conference play. Unfortunately, they are one and eight straight up in that spot. So, Jeff, I mean, don't you think that don't you think that there could be anything that might indicate that they will properly be motivated in this challenge against the Blue Devils uh, this evening? Yeah, seven of the eight conference losses, Dax, have come by seven or fewer points, an average of 3.7 points in that situation, and everybody gets up for the Duke Blue Devils. That's the definite benefit. Even if you're a downtrodden team, especially in conference play, everybody gets up for this game, especially when you travel on the road to Cameron Indoor Stadium. It's really going to fall on the leading scorer for Georgia Tech, Marcus Georges Hunt. He's averaged 22 points on 60% shooting from the floor in the last three games. And really, Georgia Tech is going to want to win the battle on the glass. And I think they're going to be able to do that against Duke. They rank eighth nationally in rebounding margin, out-rebounding opponents by an average of 8.8 .8 boards per game. All right, now here's something else that uh, the Yellow Jackets could actually take advantage of, considering that Duke is coming off a difficult stretch of playing three road games in just six days, man. So, Jeff, I mean, could that be a concern for us uh, betters to back them as double-digit home favorites in this, in this spot? Definitely is. Uh, Duke's going to have a hard time in this game covering that number because they come off the biggest win of that stretch, a win against Virginia that was kind of improbable when you look that the Blue Devils scored on 14 of their last 15 possessions against the number one scoring offense in the country. The Blue Devils got a lot of senior leadership from guard Quinn Cook over that three-game stretch, knocking down 10 of 18 three-point shots. And also, when you look at this series, Coach K has really had the best of it. Duke is 31-3 and three in the last 34 meetings, and the Blue Devils have won their last four at home by an average of 19.8 points. So that's definitely why Duke is laying 16, 16 and a half points in this contest. Yeah, you said it, 16 and a half points in this spot. But like you also said, I mean, Georgia Tech has been playing a lot of close games lately. Plus, they're also 12-4 and four against the spread in their last 16 road games. So, I mean, can we expect that trend to continue and maybe think about grabbing the points in this spot? I'm going to go with Georgia Tech, 7-3-1 and one against the spread as underdogs this season. When you flip it on the other side of betting trends with Duke, 5-5 five and five against the spread as home favorites of 12.5 or more points this season. This is a young team for Duke, and they played a lot of physical basketball over that three-game road stretch. We already mentioned Virginia. They lost against Notre Dame, and they played a physical, emotional game to earn Coach K's 1,000th victory as a collegiate coach at St. John's. So Georgia Tech also 11-4 and four against the spread in their last 15 road games versus teams with a winning home record. So I'm going to grab the points with the Yellow Jackets against the Blue Devils on Wednesday. All right, Jeff. Good stuff, man. Thanks, as always, for all the insights and the pick, and we'll do some more college basketball again tomorrow. Thank you. No problem. And hey, everyone else, make sure to check back with us tomorrow again for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.